Upon completion of this movie, you will be able to set up an Excel worksheet that will organize, manage, and sort ticket sales and the necessary details for a fundraising project. My example will be for a fashion show where each Seroptimus Club member is assigned three tickets to begin with. Note that my columns are set up for member name, ticket number, buyer, money received, table assigned, checked in status, and comments. First I'm going to assign ticket numbers. So in cell B3 I am going to type 1, enter, 2, enter 3. Well, I could go on, but that uh, takes a little bit of time. There is a faster way. So I'm going to select uh, these three cells with the information in them. Notice a tiny black box in the lower right hand corner. That's called the fill handle. When I hover over that uh, tiny black box, the pointer will become a small black plus. At that moment, I can click and drag down as far as I want, and uh, Excel will continue the pattern established in this series. I'm going down to um, line 22. Later you can go back and uh, make the list longer if you want by clicking on the last few cells, find the fill handle again, and then click and drag some more. Well, it might look better if this uh, particular column was um, uh, looked a little nicer, so I'm going to click the B at the top to select the entire column, and then I'm going to click Center. Yeah, that looks nicer. Now it's time to add some information. I'm going to type the member's name in A3, and since there's only one uh, cell, no series or sequence, the same fill handle can be used to copy any textual information. So I'm going to click the cell, uh, select, uh, click the fill handle, and drag down to assign the first three s tickets to myself, Carol Bennett, to be responsible for selling. I'm now going to put in other members' names as well as other information on sales, but I'll save you the time of painfully watching me type in the data. All right, let's review what I've typed in. Sometimes the members purchase at least one ticket for themselves. For instance, I have bought one ticket for myself, right here, paid $40, and I'll be sitting at table one. Uh, Pat Jones made a reservation, but she's not yet paid for it. So uh, I'm going to click that and uh, color that red, because I don't want to overlook that, and I'm going to click the comments there to pay at door. Uh, in addition, um, Note that I put in to pay at door in the comments. Uh, Jane Garcia has paid in cash, and sometimes uh, cash floats around and we forget who paid cash, and sometimes people might want to know about that. So I've uh, put that, uh, color coded that, just which might be helpful. Uh, now you'll want to sort this information in different ways, and this is where Excel is very useful. You may want to sort so that you can have an alphabetical list of the buyers which would be especially helpful at the reception desk when people are checking in. Later you may want to resort according to the table so that you can people can see wh where they're sitting and with whom they're sitting. And you also might want to sort by member's name so that you can tell uh, which member is selling tickets and which one is not. So in order to do that, first we need to select the concerned cells on the worksheet. These are actually the working cells. So I'm going to click uh, A2 and release, uh, which is the first cell in the list that you want to sort. Be sure not to include cells in, col in the line 1, as you don't, don't want the title itself to be in the sort. The column heads, however, you do want to be included in the sort. So I'm going to click A2, release, hold the Shift key down, and then go to the very last column in uh, your working cells, and for mine that happens to be uh, G22. So there it is, I've selected G22, and this is off the uh, chart for the viewer. I release the Shift key, and that provides a boxed in gray area around the important information or concerned cells, and it selects it to have a sorting system. Please note that uh, you may have more lines of data, more columns of data than I have. Remember to select all working or concerned cells, ignoring any lines that you do not want to be included in the sort. When this information is selected, go to the ribbon area and um, go to the sort and filter area. And that might be a little bit off your screen, so I'm going to adjust that slightly. There it is, sort and filter, and then uh, click that, and then click filter right there. Click filter. I'm going to click anywhere on the, a worksheet to deselect or to clear the sorting selection. Automatically now you'll have nice drop-down uh, sortable buttons at the top of each heading. Watch how it works. 
Well, first I'm going to click the drop down arrow next to the buyer, right here. And I'm going to say sort alphabetically, A through Z. And there we are, all ready to sort. I notice that all the rest of the information on the line is kept intact. Now let's sort by the, uh, by the uh, member's name, A through Z. Now let's go to the ticket number and sort smallest to largest. You get the idea. Now we can go to table number and see where everybody's sitting. Isn't that great? Remember, be sure that you've selected all of the necessary data prior to selecting for your filter. If you've left out any of the columns, you will easily scramble all of your valuable information. And uh, be, ca be careful on that last step. So, we may want to keep a sum or a total of the sales made, which would be a nice feature. Again, I'm going to move this, uh, the, the chart over just a little bit. I will skip column H. In fact, I'm going to make it very, very narrow so that it uh, is clearly a barrier to the other information. And I'm going to click I3, and I'm going to type total amount collected. And then I'm going to click I4, and I'm going to put an equal sign because all Excel formulas begin with an equal sign. And then I'm going to type the word sum. I'm going to do open parentheses D3 colon D22. And you can see a box form here, a blue box is formed over the entire uh, column of money that we want to be concerned with. So I can then uh, put a close parentheses and Hit, click the Enter key. So now I can see how much money I have uh, collected to date. I can click that number if I want to and uh, add that in I4 and go back to the Home tab. And uh, there's the Money tool right there. Click the Money tool. Isn't that nice? Well, you will be delighted to know that you will seriously impress your club membership with your incredible organizational talent. I hope you've enjoyed this and hope it has enriched your knowledge of Microsoft Excel.